you have six people. So those people, whether you, whether they're going to be new faces on our board or not, and they can be among your uh, the, the electeds, or they could be staff, or they could be someone uh, who's unrelated to government, but that you want that person to be your, your appointment. So what will be your call as a government, and these are the, what I classify as the government directors. So that's where the government entities actually have the power to reshape the direction of this board and put in um, councilman conduct, what, what you believe um, to be the new blood or the new ideas that are in there. So uh, that can start coming from, from all of you. And then if you look at um, the next, the bottom of page four, and the top of that. Yes, sir. I'll just give you one question, Mr. Junior. Yes, sir. As much as I want city council or the city government to have representation, um, I personally would not be in favor of having six people from government entities on a board of directors. Back on page one, section three, this corporation and all of its activities shall be, and one of the things is non political. You get six political animals on the board of directors, and you're, I don't know how you're going to get away from being non political, which is one of the goals we were trying to achieve. So I, I appreciate why that was done to potentially pacify people like us, and I appreciate that. But from my own, my own standpoint, I wouldn't care if we do or do not have a position on the board of directors. If we did it to be non, if we gave up that up, so it's non-political. Personally, I'd be in favor of doing it. Well, I what's what happened? Excuse me. Uh, I, I remember sitting in this group before, and it was argued that there ought to be at least two council members on this board of directors. No, on no, no, on the board. Yeah. Not on the board of directors. They just came up with the board of directors as being two separate entities. Okay. Yeah. So there's we, a board we, and a membership. I'm right. sorry. Uh, so we the board of directors and membership, members. but not necessarily part of the board. Or at least maybe limit that. Currently, a six that's fifty percent of the board of directors are going to be governmental people. Do, you, do, you, do we actually believe it's going to be non-political? Nothing in this state is. I'm so we talk about up at Williams Country Club when we first met there it. was not having a bunch of politicians on on a board because they're not going to get anywhere. We're going to be in the same boat we are now. Right? Well, and 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 I think this this addresses it. For example, in Hancock County, since they are paying us $30,000, they we want to give them two board members. They're actually going to appoint, uh, the, from the from the uh, conversations I had with them, two people who are non-political. They're going to appoint businessmen. But but I'm leaving that, I think it's only fair that I leave that to the, to the discretion of the of the dues-paying members, since you guys would be contributing $25,000, that you would, if you wanted to choose as a council, two businessmen or women, that's I would leave that to your discretion, but I only think it's fair to the to the governments that are contributing that substantial amount of money to have the same as those two members are, as opposed to the corporate membership. Now, if you disagree and you'd like me to re redo that, I'd be more than happy to. But um, well, I'm just I would throw out for your consideration that um, if you, I appreciate your point, but there's also the opportunity under that scenario where they can appoint uh, the, the two county commissioners can appoint themselves. And uh, uh, the mayor and one councilman could be appointed from this entity. Uh, if you want, if, if that's the degree or scenario that you, you're anticipating, then maybe it should be stated that no more than one of those two can be a political, uh, politically elected or appointed individual. Uh, wait, wait but did your board just did you just say that your board passed this? Just to, to yes. Okay. That doesn't mean that the new board can amend this, and I could. We can amend this. I mean, we still have a membership in place. We have, we have an executive committee in place that can still make amendments to this. So, just so I understand, though, I just want to let me replay this just so I make sure I understand. Would it? Would you want it so that the the city of Wharton would pay the twenty five thousand dollars, but would not have a say in 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 two of the members, or would you like to no, have a no, say? No, in no, no, you no. said no. You said that we would have our say. We would have a representation. I guess I'm trying to define political. That's all. all right. You know, that's that's. I think you said that you would give us the opportunity to appoint council for twenty five thousand. We would appoint whoever we deem fit for the board. Right. Let's be realistic. If the mayor suggests somebody and we approve, that person's going to be political, no matter who it is. And then when you say that, you can get Joe Smuck off the street, but he's going to come on here and do what the mayor or the council asked him to do. And why? And why do we have a big? do about it before we authorize the participating in there that we didn't want it to be political. 
Mr. Um, so what you're saying I just don't is, want to be naive about it. I don't think anyone's being naive, but we're trying to create a structure that makes it less uh, it, less likely. I don't want to become their their bylaws. what it is now. I don't want to write their bylaws tomorrow. They wrote them, they approved them, just need to go with it. Either give them the money or don't give them the money. Well, I think your goal is simplifying it, George. That's why we're here talking, isn't it, Pat? Just here to get your input. And the concern was that you want to have a voice on that board. Yes. So for years and years, all you want people got together and never made a decision on all the needs. I think that, that was the key. I, I agree once to, once anyone is appointed by a commission or a mayor, I think they solved the problem. I assume that. I, I kind of agree with somebody on there because next thing next thing happens if we don't have if we don't have one of us on there next thing is someone here will be criticizing the board for not doing what we think they should be doing for 25,000. That'll be the next thing. That'll be the next thing. But they're not doing what we want them to do for the 25,000 when we have the representation on it. And I know that'll happen. So I think that we should have some representation but do I believe that it should be loaded with politicians? I think so. And all I'd like to do is leave that to your discretion. I mean, if you guys want to put two elected officials, that's your call. If you want to put two private citizens who aren't elected officials, I'd, I'd leave, like to leave that to you as opposed to one-on-one -on -one because I believe Hancock is not going to put any. I think they're going to put, so I don't want to tie their hands. Well, you can always put not more than, and that doesn't tie anybody's hands. But I have some of the corporations don't qualify. It doesn't mean that there would be no more than. No more so than if, one. if the county commissioners don't want to appoint anybody, that's, they would be in violation of the bylaws. That's for your consideration, Pat. That's a good point. I didn't, and I didn't read too far into this right now, but if, say, say if we uh, if we would appoint a um, political figure on the board, and that political figure is no longer um, a council person, uh, do they stay on that board, or the next term comes up that we, we really No, as, as government, as those governments, as they're as government directors, even we're calling them govern, government directors, and they could be either political or, excuse me, elected or not elected. Not elected but if they if they switch, you as the mayor can immediately replace them with whoever you want. That's just because it's the nature of a government director. So if um, you know, one of your one of your councilmen is uh, leaves his seat, it's your discretion to either replace it with that council or you can replace it with someone else. A staff person or, or some resident or business member. You have that discretion. Are you meeting folks to the public? What's that? Are you meeting folks to the public? Yes. They are? Yes. So Anybody can come to the meetings if they want. Okay, if that's the case, then maybe the extra fish notice isn't necessary. Correct, because what you're saying is they can just show up at the meeting. Yeah, they can show up if they want to. Uh, Eddie can show up if he wants to. And if they're not voting anyway. That's exactly right. 